Hiya fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Today, a guppy-licious episode of Michael's Fish Room, Fry Fry Friday. We're gonna talk about guppies. We're gonna talk about guppy fry and how I get huge drops of fry. I do a couple things. Stay tuned to find out what I do and don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Use promo code WORLDCUP for $10 off your order, which is ending soon. Alright fishy folks, this is a guppy tank with about a thousand fry in it. I mean, I'm not exaggerating, look at all the fry. So you want to know how to get lots of fry from your drops? How do you get lots of guppy babies? Here's what I did. I simply have a 20 gallon tall tank with mostly females i would say there's 10 females and there might be two males in there and i tried to get all the males out oh by the way the water looks a little clouded because i dropped a poop ton of uh rapashi in there and it's been in there all night and they've been nibbling at it and i made it a very loose uh formula this time to help me break out little pieces for different tanks you can see there are some also in this tank here anyway back to the guppies so I don't know maybe there's more than 10 females in here and essentially um, it was a mixed tank males and females I was getting very little fry production and I thought either uh, the boys were eating the babies because they're tender and delicious or there were so many males they were harassing the females and the females weren't dropping so I pulled out what I thought was all the males about two weeks ago now I see at least two males maybe three uh, in the tank still but I think the ratios I mean it's probably three or four females to one male to 20 high there is a heater in it uh, although I don't think the heater goes on too much because it's about 75 in my fish room since I turned the dehumidifier back on and it gets daily 10% water changes and there's a sponge filter there's two sponge filters one is just in there collecting beneficial bacteria in case I need to start a new tank real quick there's some guppy grass on the bottom there's some water wisteria or water sprite I don't remember which one I'm sure somebody will tell me there's some rickia, and I bet there's java moss in there too. And that's it. And yes, I overfeed the crap out of this tank. And the reason I do that is because there's so many little mouths to feed. Now, if you have a guppy tank that doesn't have an auto water change system, and you want to overfeed your tank, you, you're going to need to do more frequent water changes than you're used to, or then even you may want to. Um, I don't typically worry because I know that every day it's going to get a water change. I also know that I have so many plants in all my tanks that any ammonia that um, is converted into nitrite, then converted into nitrate, the nitrates are sucked up by the plants. I bet if I check any of these tanks, nitrates would be less than five, maybe maybe less than ten, but certainly certainly very low. Some I bet in some of them it's zero. Anyway. Uh, that's it. That's how I got a lot of fry out of this tank. Now, in my unscientific experiment, you've heard me talk about it, and I have no scientific proof. I am not that smart. I am not a geneticist. I am not a biologist. I'm not an ichthyologist. Ooh, that's a big word. I am just a, a stupid guy with a camera. Good looking, of course, but also a little funny. And uh, my unscientific experiment shows me that when I heat tanks to about 82 degrees, 81, 82 degrees or higher, not too much higher. Let's go with 80 degrees to 82 degrees. I get uh, roughly 50% males and 50% females out of the fry. Anything lower than that and I get more females. And at about 72, I get about 90% females. Now, as you're watching this video, I can see that there's one, 
male uh, with the magenta tail that's harassing a female. She must be getting ready to drop. Um, usually that's what they do. They can see or smell or sense or I don't know what they can do. But the little tender delicious fry getting ready to pop out like a easy bake not an easy bake wow that would have been such a funny joke if i got it right what's the 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 purdue oven stuff the roaster pop fry pop fry look it's him he's the he's a little a-hole anyway uh other tips and tricks for getting lots of guppy fry good food you know i talk about food a lot not just food that i cook I'm rubbing my belly right now. But uh, fish food, you know, I use rapache, as you can see down there. I use high-quality flake from Cobalt. Um, I use Northfin food. I'm trying to look at my my food rack here. I use Ocean Nutrition food. I really like uh, the Ocean Nutrition uh, community flake and then this Ocean Nutrition brine shrimp plus flake. Uh... 55% crude protein. So I gotta say, folks, it's all about the protein. It's all about the Benjamins. It's all about the protein. Um, so, yeah, that's my tips and tricks. Lots of clean water, 10% a day for me at least. Um, I, I haven't calibrated this tank at all, but when I started the system, it was a little more than 10%, so I always say about 10%. Good food. You know, high quality flake food or frozen food. Of course, I feed uh, br frozen brine shrimp, frozen cyclops, and uh, frozen blood worms um, quite frequently. And then high quality flake food, you know, high protein like that ocean nutrition uh, brine shrimp flake, um, high quality cobalt food, uh, rapashi, all that's good stuff. You may have some other foods you like, and that's fine. Um, you guys know me. I'm, I'm a pretty honest guy. I'm not mentioning those food guys because I'm friends with people who sell them. Uh, uh, you know, um, I mention them because I use them all the time in my fish room, and I really like them. So uh, I think that's about it for tips and tricks, guys. Uh, World Cup promo code is ending soon, so get your orders in. I may be running another special uh just on a particular breed or strain of guppies not really sure what my next thing is going to be so if you're interested in guppies hit up michaelsfishroom.com place an order let me know if you have any questions uh don't forget i won't be shipping starting july 30th because i'll be in japan and i'll resume shipping i think august 13th or 14th whatever that monday is i'll i'll uh, resume shipping so all right fishy folks i got through this whole video without a blooper huh it's pretty interesting but i still gotta film the intro so maybe i'll uh screw up then and you'll get lucky all right guys hope everyone has a great uh weekend happy fry fry friday to you and uh go don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com check out supercichlids.com if you're looking to buy some food, Lisa over at Super Cichlids is spectacular. And who else should you check out? Oh, check out PRA Aquatics. It's uh, my buddy Ryan's forum. Pretty good site. Uh, pretty honest. No BS like on Facebook. Um, yeah, I, I was almost going to rant about Facebook today, but I do that quite often. So I figured I'd, I'd save it for another day maybe. Anyway. That guy's harassing that female. I got to get her out of there. And I think there's there's another male right there. So there's a male. And there's a male. And you can see they kind of look different because these are, are kind of mutts. They're essentially two different strains, I think, that got mixed. And then they're... <coughs> That'll be a blooper. They're essentially two different strains that got mixed, I think. And then they were sent to me sort of as mutts. But uh, I really like them, and they breed like 50%. So, you know, I get some of those jade heads, and I get some of those uh, magentas. So, like, here's the boys that I pulled out of the tank. All these are from the same batch. So there's like, maybe if we could focus, that would be nice. So there's like a red cobra looking guppy. 
and uh, a couple of jade heads and then some of the magenta tails so that one's pretty cool you know you would think that one just got its tail beat up i don't think so i think that's just a genetic trait because i have quite a few of those around so but i mean that's like a perfect red cobra anyway if you're interested in any of these fish certainly shoot me an email uh a specific fish i can try for i can't guarantee it though but you know shoot me an email if you have any questions if not place an order hope everyone has a great weekend see you soon peace fishy folks and happy fry fry friday today guppy spectacular so you're breeding guppy gup <clears throat> take two hi fishy folks and happy fry fry friday to you today a guppy spectacular no take three